Hello you all, welcome to the channel. It's uh, Rad from Radko Tarot and in this whole video we are going to check uh, the weekly general tarot reading for your star sign for the week 11th to 17th of uh, January 2021. And in case you are interested in a personal reading with me, you can check out the description down below and there you're going to find a, uh, a link to my website from which very front page you can see the full list of my services and as well their pricing. Also keep in mind that the content for YouTube and Facebook, they are uh, separate, they are exclusive to one another. While in YouTube you can find um, your weekly general tarot readings. In Facebook you are going to find astrology posts performed by the Pisces Moonbeam, which is an exceptional astrologer that works with me. And as well you can catch me live and have your daily tarot readings. So with that being said, enjoy the show. All right, so uh, let's uh, have a look what Aries, Sun, uh, Moon, and as well rising are to experience throughout the week. Just give me a second to uh, shuffle the tarot cards, guys, and we're gonna move straight away to the uh, to the reading. All right, so the first one that we do have, that is going to be the five of uh, ones. I'm just gonna draw all the cards, and then we're gonna move to the reading. Second one, that is to be the uh, eight of ones, followed by the chariot, the chariot card, I'm sorry. And furthermore, that we do have is going to be temperance. And the last one for you, uh, that will be the Ten of Swords. All right, so uh, the week is going to start rather explosively here with the Five of Wands. As the Five of Wands gives a abnormal and rather like a huge dynamic to the daily routine, either career-wise or either relationship-wise as well. So you can expect the first couple of days of your week, Aries, to be rather quite surprising and that is to say the least yeah there are going to be many surprises and those surprises that you're going to be um quote unquote victim of uh, are going to be neutral by nature what i mean is that they're going to be uh good surprises they are going to be as well poignant surprises here and there now it's uh, it's going to depend what mindset you do have in this particular time frame of the first couple of days of the week is every surprise that you are gonna face throughout the week itself, it uh, should be taken as turnaround, okay? Or around turn, it is uh, the way you need to say it. For every surprise, every change, for it's going to stand as a change into the circumstances, can be taken as an opportunity to get the upper hand, regardless if it's going to be a positive one or it's going to be as well a poignant one, okay? Each one of them, you can use it to your advantage into, uh, into move uh, forward. Now, five of wands, it's like releasing the energy of the four of wands. Now you are moving into a, uh, a direction where things are not situated or you're moving through circumstances where things are not situated, okay? Where, where things are not sorted out as it was in the four of wands. And uh, here you have to be more active than, uh, uh, than usual. Five of Wands, though, is one of the best cards where you can transform failure into success, okay? So if you do feel with your back against the wall at the start of the week in regards to something, probably the first couple of days are going to give you the means necessary in order to transform the situation from a failure to a success. And then we move to the Eight of Wands here and I could safely say that you are going to make a very good work or very good job into taking advantage of the options available, the opportunities and as well those surprises that are to happen within your plan for throughout the week or throughout the first couple of days of the week because the, the Eight of Wands here points that after this dynamic happens the things are going to speed up for you and that is going to be because you're going to have the means necessary here we can see that within the eight of wands now eight of wands in this particular tarot deck does expresses uh 
the oh my god it's so difficult to say it the clear-headed mind with which you are able to to take advantage to capitalize on every single um opportunity that it is given to you uh usually the eight of wands is accompanied with huge amounts of risk but just because it's a follow-up to the five of wands it seems that you have scaled up the risk beforehand and now you know exactly what your way is now you are going to know exactly what you got to do and uh, you are going to know how far as well you can stretch and how fast you can move forward so at that particular point you can't expect to pretty much storm your day in a sense of that you know um it's just you're going to be very productive career wise or relationship wise as well uh, if i have to touch on those which are single here i will not going to be surprised if you guys are start dating at that particular point with the eight of wands knowing which individual that it is interested in you or that you are interested in can actually give you the uh the circumstances you know just only the circumstances but as well the predisposition you need in order to feel loved in order to feel passion here we're talking about passion moving forward and then after that takes place we do have the chariot and here we are seeing how you are going to start collecting the the luck of your hard work based on the uh capitalize capitalization of the circumstances of the surprises of the around turns that you had at the start of the week here with the chariot card is very possible as well that you are gonna reach a wish fulfillment but don't get yourself excited all right wish fulfillment is uh, different than a fulfilling a dream now, wish fulfillment is where you wish things to be in a certain way and based on your uh, capitalization of the circumstances, you have it that way. But the dream is yet within reach. The dream is yet to be accomplished. So here, towards the middle of the week for you, Aries, you should not slow down your emotion here as we do have with the chariot. I mean mentally, but you should slow it down physically instead. What I mean, it is the chariot, it is like building up a, a, a building up on an immense momentum and impulse. If you can see into the cards, this is what the, uh, the knight is doing here, building up that channeling power to, to channel it forward, okay, or to channel it toward the direction they need to go. But towards the middle of the week, as you do prepare to make a huge jump moving forward after that, you're also going to be very proud of yourself and how far you were able to go for just in a span of a three or a four days. How much you were able to save, how much you were able to reverse, okay, from a failure a to success. And uh, as well, that is going to predispose you to have pride in a sense of that you're pretty much going to be proud of yourself, like I said, and that will boost your self-esteem, is going to arm you with an iron wheel as well, determination. And in generally, the chariot speaks about tri triumph, right? But that triumph isn't because of a capability, that triumph is because you just do not waver in the face of a challenge. You are not gonna waver in the face, uh, face of a danger, right? You're just not gonna waver just because things are difficult, okay? Just on the contrary, just because the things are difficult, you are going to be even more de determined than that. If we have to touch on our relationships, especially for people which are single here, it will be very important as you're gonna have a person to date at that particular point or to talk to, you know, or to hang out with, or just in general, a person of interest. Very important here is not to jump into premature relationships, okay? But just get to know the person better because the chariot predisposed for jumping into a premature relationships. And I'm not saying that things are not gonna work out by, uh, by any means, but you may find uh, kind of like a, a points of incompatibility, okay? Uh, which are going to just cause predicaments if nothing else. After that, what we do have it is the temperance and the activity or the dynamic of the week ends here, okay? Uh, after the, uh, the middle of the week where you have your wish fulfillment and the look of your hard work takes place, 
and you know what direction to get forward to. The chariot after that points that now the usual routine, the, uh, the temperance, I'm sorry, points that the usual routine after the middle of the week is going to become very, very obvious. And at that point, the chores previously neglected because you had your, um, like I said, you had your uh, daily routine dynamic and, and there was surprises everywhere, all right? There are round turns everywhere and you were split into many places so you can make things work. You have neglected the chores that are accompanying your daily routine and those chores are going to return towards the end of the week or after the middle of the week. However, as you now are way more accomplished than as you have entered into the week, those chores are not going to be any problem for you whatsoever. In fact, having the temperance here, it seems that you're going to enjoy dealing with your chores for a couple of reasons that comes off top of my head. One of the reasons is because you're going to uh, have the tendency, if you will, that the, the sooner you deal with those chores, the sooner you will be able to chase your goal. And the other, uh, the other reason which you're gonna feel good about tackling with the chores, it is that because for one or another reason, uh, you will be able to transform those chores into something like a game, all right? And it just is gonna be pleasant. The chores are not going to be that annoying for you to perform. Uh, also, towards the uh, end of the week or after the middle of the week, you're going to face a lot of compassion and solidarity from the people around. It's just people, even if they do not understand you guys, they are going to honor your decision. They are going to honor your way or respect them. I'm sorry, not honor, but respect them. Because for one or another way, you are going to be able to make a standpoint that... Um, you do have your, I will say that way, you do have your opinion, right? You do have your perception. And while it may not be the right perception or opinion for your colleague, it's right perception and opinion for you. So if there is the people that are judgmental about your ways and about in general what you think or what you, what you want to do in general, these people are going to be uh, make a note of that um, they pretty much, they're not right, or they're right for themselves, but not for you. It's, it's difficult to explain it, guys, I'm sorry, but you can expect, in general, conflicts to, uh, to drop off uh, the table. And the last thing about the, um, about the temperance is that because you are going to uh, be a bit exhausted, but that is going to be sweet exhaustion, knowing that you have done so much at the start of the week, you, are, you can't expect that your health is going to start improve at that particular point. And the last card that we do have for you, Aries, that is going to be the Ten of Swords here, and that is towards the end of the week. And Ten of Swords, it's a, uh, it's a bit of a poignant card, everybody knows that. Ten of Swords, it is like the breaking point. And in your particular case, that is the breaking point of the new versus the old. So towards the end of the week, it seems that you are going to draw a line and make a retrospective in regards to what is working out and why it's working out and what is not working out and why it's not working out. So towards the end of the week, you can expect to answer yourself questions that have bothered you for quite a while. And based on those questions, some very drastic and as well uh, irreversible actions are to be, to be taken from your behalf or very uh, irrevocable decisions as well are to be made. But by the end of the week, you alone are going to realize, guys, that things cannot go the way they were before this week in certain aspects and a new era is needed for you to walk into. And that is going to be the subject of your next week, most likely, which is going to be 18th to 24th of January. But for now, it is just we do have the preparation for that new era and building up the foundation in the very first circumstances, the very first predispositions, if you will, for to walk into. So that being said, there is this was your a weekly general tower reading, guys, for a January um, 
14th, uh, 11th, I'm sorry, up to January 17th, 2020. Hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it and we are to see each other next time. Until then, bye.